Poltergeist House, one of the most well-documented demonic locations on Earth. With over 2,000 pieces of paranormal evidence collected, video clips, pictures, EVPs, thermal scans, the archives are endless. Scratches and even broken bones have occurred here. Numerous failed exorcisms, not within the house, but upon it. Bibles have moved on their own, crosses mysteriously broken. Evil does not call this place home, because this home itself is evil. And tonight, we will have the first interview with the neighbor who has shared a wall with hell for over 20 years. There's a curse in this house, by the way. This house is meant to haunt you forever. If the knocking comes from inside the property, it's too late, it's in. We're doing an interview with someone who's lived next to this house their entire life. Just in the bedroom. I don't care what it was. I could see you. Which I am scared to lose daylights out of me, by the way. Where do you want us to go? Ghost. Ghost? You're kidding. There is anything or anyone in this home. I am sure you are used to this device. No, my. Wait. Are you serious? Why is it going off so much right here? This has never happened. No, ever. Is there anybody here with us? What? Okay. Play some next boys on. Oh my nose is bleeding. Are you kidding me? What the hell was that? Some people walk past. No way. Yeah. Is that on video? I saw it. I saw it. Okay. Dude, I saw some. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Poltergeist House, Hell on Earth. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel or if you're new here, welcome to the Overnight Channel. We are dedicated to everything paranormal, superstitious, unnatural, unknown, mysterious, unsolved, whatever it might be. And the location we're at tonight, which is right behind us, 30 East Drive in the UK, otherwise known as the Poltergeist House, might be the most requested location we've had in the last year. There have been movies made about this place, basically every paranormal show I could ever think of has been here. It's been in over a hundred magazines, geez, news articles, international news articles. The stories and the convolution and all the various things that have happened here are just astronomical. Ridiculous. And I have the key. I have the key to the front door. And I must say that this place is booked out until June of 2022. But I was able to talk to the owner and get permission to come in and make this video happen. And yeah. apparently you filmed here a couple I've been years ago. before, yeah. And what happened? Where's your video? So I, I edited the video and it was due to go out October of 2019. And I came to plug the hard drive in, completely corrupt. Sent it off for recovery. No way. The whole hard drive gone. What? Yeah. There's a curse in this house, by the way. What? If what? you take anything from it, this house is meant to haunt you forever. So, so no one, no one gets some water on their hands. Make sure, make sure you completely dry no your hands off. No carpet fibers. <laughs> yeah, we gotta clean our no, yeah. The house was built upon an ancient well, and the ancient well is in the living room. So they they dug it up and found the body of the monk in the well. What? Yeah. Like, was it just robe and bones at that point? I don't know exactly, but they found his body. Oh, this is no joke. Let's share some more stories inside. This is no joke. Let's get I don't inside. Know. I don't somewhere know if where I it's nice and somewhere nice and quiet. We only have a limited time here, so let's spend it all inside. One of the, I think the coolest things about tonight is we're doing an interview with someone who's lived next to this house their entire life. They've never done an interview before. Really? They've turned every single person down. Everyone. Tonight's investigation was never part of our plan when visiting the UK, although I cannot say I didn't try to include it. 30 East Drive did not have any overnight rentals available until fall of 2022. It is without any doubt that with a name rightfully earned, such as Poltergeist House, it attracts paranormal investigators and thrill-seeking travelers from around the world. Early this morning, we received an email that tonight's guest was willing to split the night in half with us so we could simply get a taste of what this demonic home has to offer. In fact, our excited early arrival is what led us to interview the neighbor who has shared a wall with the Poltergeist House for over 20 years and had never spoken to anyone about it until tonight with us. His identity and voice will be hidden, but his stories will be vivid with an endless amount of tales of horror he can share. 
From the sidewalk and town roundabout, 30 East Drive appears to be a traditional family home in a welcoming neighborhood boasting a welcoming family within it. Yet this first impression couldn't be any further from what truly lives within. Now without a permanent living residence, the house is a home to an evil entity known as the Black Monk, but now given a more popular and less threatening name, Fred. For over 50 years, it has been terrorizing all who enter the home. Whether to protect itself or to continue feeding off of the home, we do not know. What is known are the attacks that take place upon those that dare stay the night. Foul odors, nausea, shadow figures, light anomalies, scratches, and physical attacks such as broken bones have occurred to guess here. Poltergeist activity that includes marbles moving on their own, keys vanishing, entire rooms being thrashed, kitchen cabinets and drawers being slammed open and closed. Yet the strangest activity has occurred since an exorcism was attempted to be performed on the house. Again, and again, and again. All declared failures by those attempting them. Bibles seem to be knocked to the floor at will, and crosses have been broken. Since 1966, the activity has only become stronger. The manifestation of this poltergeist activity, either by the home, the black monk, or something beyond, has not been pinpointed. But a brief history might give us more insight as to how it began. In 1966, the Pritchard family took residence in the new home, but it wasn't long after the strange occurrences began. The first involved an endless seeping of water through the floors of the living room, rising from the soil through a concrete slab. This became only the starting point for the terror they would continue to live with. Lights would turn on and off on their own, pots and pans would shake, claims of items levitating, and even picture evidence being sliced in half. As the family refused to leave their home, they sought out numerous clergymen to cleanse the home and rid it of this entity, yet all failed. These clergymen had occurrences of being slapped, holy water mockingly seeping from the walls, and biblical hymns being mocked by disembodied voices. At first, the activity in this home seemed nearly playful, teasing all that tried to rid it from this house. Slowly, it turned far more sinister. Family members started to receive cuts and bruises, and this reached a pinnacle when Diane Pritchard was grabbed by her hair and dragged up the stairs, fighting with all her might, only to be left traumatized with finger marks around her throat. This has now only been a few minutes worth of a summary for over 55 years of torment. Our visit tonight may be shortened, but worthwhile. We owe this home a proper overnight visit again, although some of us may wish to never come back again. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. We would love to know your thoughts and theories on what lives within this home. Hey everyone, just stopping in to let you know that Corey and I are still doing our overnight contest where we pick one winner every month and we fly out to your hometown and bring you on an overnight investigation of whatever the most haunted location you have is in your area that you want to visit. And this month, December, is actually going to be the last month we're doing this contest until further notice. We have plans to film with all of our winners next year in 2022. There are two ways to enter. One is super simple, just leave a like and a comment on this video and that equals one entry. And the other way is head over to senditsociety.com, which is a clothing line that we run. And for every dollar you spend, also equals one entry. And one of the items I'm wearing, uh, if you if you ordered a mystery box, may, maybe this is in, maybe this is in it. The mystery box is still up for sale. Maybe maybe this will be in it. Who who knows? Maybe maybe this will be in it. Who knows? I don't know. But with that being said, appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching this video, and of course, enjoy the rest of the episode. I hate when Elton's excited. Dude, it's the worst. <laughs> you hate when I get excited. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're because I, I know what, I know what's about to happen. You're gonna you're gonna start doing your laugh. What laugh? <laughs> yeah, what? that one. That, that one. Hold on. That Cut one. it out. Look at all the newspaper articles written about this place. The authors that have been here. You know, we're sleeping here. There's beds. There's bedrooms. Can you imagine booking this on accident? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, no, no, I just need a place to crash. That's local. Not that bad, not that expensive. And <laughs> you get here. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Huh? Don't worry, you're good to go. See? Okay, oh, that makes me feel better. All right, never mind, guys.
Alright, so just do me a favor real quick, put that in your pocket, forget about it. Dog. <laughs> no, I've never been so happy I cut my man bun off. The whole, the whole thing is just going to be sneaky things in your pocket. Please no. <laughs> Reverse pickpocketing. Please no. What? I'm going <laughs> to... Just don't do uh, that. I walk outside, I pull a fridge out of my pocket. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Well, just eat it. I'm no. You sure? Dude, we cannot even eat or drink the I coffee. Was say the coffee. No, yeah, that's that's, 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 oh, that's how they get you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not supposed to take anything with you and they're offering free coffee. Oh, oh man. my god. It's like the Starbucks meets the ring. All the pebbles have been returned from people who did not believe in this house with notes begging for forgiveness for taking them. And literally a note underneath it that says, sorry for taking your coal. A, a double sign again that says, please take notice. All the big and small pieces of coal have been returned with notes asking for forgiveness and how sorry they are for taking them as their lives have become a living hell. So anything you take from here, including coal or anything like that. I'm not taking nothing. Nothing you know of. I mean, Nelson, you've been trying to make deals with the devil. Mm -hmm. I'm mm. surprised you're not tempted to uh, put the theory to test. No. No. Why would you fan. give him that idea, Elton? <laughs> El <laughs> yeah, just take the fan. Elton, I know it's been hot in LA. <laughs> put the, Elton, put the fan down. I'm gonna put it down in the in the camper van. El, no, Jeez. no, Elton, 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 Elton. Yeah. Put the fan. No. Down. I was only joking. Elton. I was only joking. No. Come here. No. Come here. I'm on. going to bed. Come on, help me take it. No. It, it technically haven't taken it out of the house yet, so. Well, that's good. Well, then good. Walk, walk back inside. Either. What? Hmm? Simon says walk back inside. <sighs> Shh. 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 Yeah. Is the neighbor it was, upstairs? It was footsteps no. upstairs. There was footsteps, footsteps upstairs. No. Heavy. Multiple. Neighbor's not upstairs. Boom. That way. Other Boom. side of the wall. Boom. Heavy footsteps Boom. upstairs. <laughs> <sighs> Why have me bother telling stories when someone who's lived here for yeah. 70 years? And never had it before. They've never told the stories. No, he's never, he's literally like, he said that he's been camera shy his entire life. Everyone that's ever asked, he said no. So I was like, hey, no worries. Like, don't have to do it. I was like, if you want, you can tell me some of the stories and then I can just kind of uh -huh. do my best. And he was like, actually, hold on. And I mean, then, so. If he does world exclusive. Yeah. Never before. In memory of Gene. A true lady of number 30, thank you for allowing your true story to be told, remembered by everyone who has visited 30 East Drive. Come in! No, you're gonna f do this late tonight. You're gonna scare us. He's not even gonna investigate. He's just gonna stay right there. Hey! <laughs> Stop! What the f is behind you? He doesn't even get scared. <laughs> oh, dude, completely different smell. Well I hit a clock. Okay. Let's say it's 743, it's not. Do you smell that? Yeah, I told you. Very old smell. The smell changes drastically up here. Oh my god. I told you. I told you. Ooh. Why is downstairs fine and then up here it smells like this? Good. What is this? Good dolls. Good room for Matt Corey. No. Yeah. Bro. No, it's okay. Look, you don't look at the doll. Come on. You don't want the doll? Oh, look, see, it's like meant for you two. No, oh, I believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yeah, I'll take that doll. Yes. What? Oh my. <laughs> Yo. Why'd the light just turn no, on? No, you didn't hit the light? Why did the light turn Are on? Are you serious? Yo, I think I broke the door. Did you hit the light? No. Is this it? <laughs> Dude, how'd the light turn on? Is that not the light? <laughs> Who turned the light on? <laughs> Who turned the light on? What? No, I, no, no, no. Who Seriously. turned the light on? No, you sounded like Wario. Seriously. Dude, no, who fucking... turned the light on? Not me. How did the light turn on? Why did the light turn on? I don't know. I wasn't next to you. Let's go look. So when the, when, the, when the door closed. You the go in there When first. the door closed, the light turned on. No, I saw, I I was here. I saw the whole thing. I watched what Evan noise? pull the door close. I reached to open I'll it, by the way. Did you? Yes. <laughs> that was actually terrifying. But who turned the light on? I wonder if you touched it. Wait, hold on, hold on. If turning it this way turns it on, how would him running this way turn it that way? How would it turn that exactly. way? Exactly. Come this way. Evan closes the door, okay? Door's closed. I run right here. As I'm opening it, the light turns on. 
What? Oh my. Yo. Why'd the light just turn no, on? No, you didn't hit the light? Why did the light turn Are on? Are you serious? Yo, I think I broke the door. Can we get up there? Look at him. He gets scared. And now he wants to go in the attic? <laughs> did you just hear like a toy playing? What'd you hear? A bang. A bang? Yeah. I heard like a dun dun dun. Like a, like a, sound like a little kid toy. The house is rumbling. You heard that. What's that? Did we lock the door? Did we lock the door? Uh, sure. Let's go find out. I'm sure people try and break in here. Come on, time. let's go find out, Elton. There's a family walking across the street. Right, but no one's like at the front door. No, dude, that was someone. Someone's trying to get in. Or try to lock us in. Evan. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> oh no. Evan. Oh, don't lock us out. <laughs> and in your jeans. Oh my God. It scared me from out here. <laughs> <laughs> His legs buckled. <laughs> I just hit the whoa. I went. <laughs> we get the neighbor now. <laughs> He's coming over soon. The polite notice during the summer when the house gets warm and you have the windows open, please remember that your screams will carry and to keep them down. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's for that your kind and respectful consideration from the owner. Why is that so, even necessary to say? So, two screams so far. Here's another notice. Once all guests have arrived, lock the door and do not let anyone that knocks into the property. In case of uninvited guests before 11 p.m., contact someone else. After 11 p.m., call the police. If the knocking comes from inside the property, it's too late, it's in. What? And you opened the door after we heard that. And yeah, we did as well. Oh, here's something else. Here's another notice. Please. Do not pull our carpets up or peel the wallpaper back. The house is not rigged. The bangs, knocks, and footsteps you hear are real. The EVP recorder turned itself on and has been recording. What? What? Yeah. What happened? It turned itself on in the bag and has been recording. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, how listen. long? I don't know. Should we just do an EVP session right now? Yeah. Just to see before and after, like before the well starts. To the well room? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's do that until the neighbor comes Close. over. That has to be a dirt bike or something. Oh, Dude, <clears throat> I keep hearing like those deep growls and yeah. it, it literally has to be. Yeah, let's have a seat. Let's just see if there's anything already here. A little before and after. Remember, time will come when we must give account to God how we on earth do live. Should we go lights out? Sure, why not? Yeah. Why not? I'm gonna kill him. We still have enough light naturally. I'll put it right on top of the well. Should we say hello? You could have entered someone's home. You bring doctors and they still see. Hello, my name is Corey. Hello, my name is Matt. Hello, my name is Don. Hello, my name is Elton. We are guests of your home tonight. We heard a story about a well being right under this floor. Did y'all hear that bang? Is that you? I heard it. Not me. Is it true that they found a body down in the well? You are still haunting this home, whether from above or below, or with us here right now. you give us any form of a sound 
that would signify your presence. Tell me that was this is, right? Ryan, can you hear anything come up from your left in the kitchen? Yeah. I, I thought I could hear something. Yeah. Else, yeah. Could you do three super light knocks on the glass like you did a second ago? I just want to hear what it sounds like. Just. That's what it sounded like. It was the wall. That six knocks went off, said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Literally, I don't know if you guys heard that, but when you asked it to make a noise, and then when he also said to walk closer, both times, there was two knocks of three in the wall. Tell me that was the right? So So you're saying that if you don't fix this house... I don't it, fix this house. You do? I do, yes, to look after it. Yeah. But if you did not... No, no one else would. Yeah. I only come here daytime. If you, didn't, uh, if you didn't fix the things in the house, the, it, it would go to your... It'd get ruined, yeah. Because no, totally no one else would come. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. No one else It's got a bit of... It's got a name to it, to be honest. You know, haunted house, so... What I tell you today is only a tip of iceberg. I mean, there's, there's a lot to this house and what happened in this house, and a lot of next door. In so your home? Oh, it's, it's bad next door, yeah. In your home? Yes. <sighs> Why haven't you moved? Because I would be on my life with a gun. It's, mm. it's more sentimental value. Mm. Wow. I'm a bit like Gene. Gene always said, I ain't gonna leave this house. It's not gonna get me out. I'm mm. gonna stop here, and that's it. Wow. I can do what it wants, I ain't moving. It's a case of soon as my head hits that pillow. No matter what happens, I'm knocking on banging, I would sleep. I'm mm. not that used to it now. Wow. I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't scare you? No, not at all. Carol sometimes don't like wakes up. Many times, out next door, and the kids were missing. I'm forever replacing the car keys, but a lot of things we've seen in the house, and I've seen loads of shadows in my sons. It wasn't dark in the room, but if you walk by a light, it's still electric. Mm -hmm. There's a shadow. And they're on the street room, and I've just sat there, and he looked at me and says, what Dad? I was, what? What's up? What's up, Don? Dad? I said, what's up? What's up? Did you see that? I said, see what? Didn't you see that shadow just walk by? It walked by you straight in front of you, did you see it? I said, no, Don. It went to Ned, it was a bit easier than it. I could see torso. And I could see, I could see his legs, his, his hips, and everything like that. I just walked by him. And I thought, what a, what a car reflection. I had a front, front window. The cars come with the opposite lights, so it's into the room. Mm, yeah. And it says it was too prominent. It says it, it actually it walked by and I didn't see the screen on TV. So it was that prominent. Wow. And you can't explain it, so it's easy to convince yourself that it didn't happen. Or I do this a lot and I know and I do it for a reason that if I were to actually think about it and try and try and investigate what happened, I think I'd come mad. Oh no, so that that much happens. And I do like people who come this out and, and come to the house and they have a good time and I always say to them. Have you seen something? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you have a shadow, shadow or someone touched my shoulder, and you get that quite often in this house. I mean, as we stood now, that a foot below, well, before you get a foot below, you get a carpet, you get a wood, wooden floor, mm. and below that is solid concrete. Underneath, under, under, under feet under, underground, is, is riddled by mine shafts. We're all, we're all over Yorkshire, and mm. the council had dug next doors up. Our, our house, our, my grounds at the time. And uh, they dug it up because some signs, same with this one. And uh, do you always remember the council worker coming in and put a pick fruit floor? And put pick fruit floor, all water gushed out. Mm. Yeah, all water gushed out, yeah. And, uh, and Gene always said after that, things started happening in the house. Things started going missing, it started from missing, it started from bangs, taps, doors opening. Maybe six months ago, I put a new strip light in the kitchen, as you probably noticed, and I took all the lights off. And I took it out to the bin, as I went out to the bin outside that big bin, come back in, every door were open in this kitchen, every cupboard door. I thought, I thought, well, I want to get out of here pretty quick. I like to have an explanation for everything. I think everybody does really, in a sense. 
I mean, you, you want to know why he's done that, what's, what's happened. Is he good? I mean, you investigate you want to know what's happened, yeah. what's caused it. I can always remember Jean many times coming upset because she was showing, and I always said, uh, that bloody thing's banging up walls again. So when they had big problems in this house, when it used to start banging, knocking, just touch your arm. Yeah, just like a little tip. Yeah, you, you feel like an itch. People sit on lawn outside, a way things happen, and it did happen. They had a priest in, in the exercise, I'd exercise the house. And put a cross in every room, every room, and he didn't like it at all. Oh, it went, I don't know what happened, but it went haywire. I mean, every cross pulled off the wall. Oh. There were two cross in here. I, I, I don't know if they turned upside down or pulled off, I don't know, but did you mention the cross being, cross being altered? What happened to that cross? I don't know. Was it broke or turned over? I don't know. I don't know that. But I, it, it always told me that it wrecked the fireplace. And put the, that better than the original fireplace, that's a council fireplace because when we were in, well, they'd be going cast iron ones in them days mm -hmm. with a with heat and boiler. It pulled it out, pulled all that out. And uh, every bedroom, it wrote the walls. I don't, I don't know, it's, I can't remember what it was, it was Latin, with Latin. Every wall, it pulled every cross off and wrote every wall. That's why she thought house decorated. And the bedding in, in Diane's bedroom were thrown out the window. It took from garden. In my younger days, when I had a bit of air on my head, uh, I was coming off my mother's mother just rushes that corner. We were getting really late and I was coming with my mate, mate Phil. And Phil says, uh, who's that stood at your gate? Because at the time we had metal gates like the one here in front. Who's that stood there? He's tall, isn't he? A big laugh there. It'll dust, it'll dark. You know, when it just lights, street lights come on. So it'll get in, to get dark. So, and I thought, well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, and I started walking closer and closer and it started fading and my grand come to the gate and it, it, it gone. I said, I said, Gran, who have you been talking to? She said, nobody. I said, who's sure? I was just seen a, a guy still at the gate. I don't know what it was, I could make out it was tall, really tall. What would you yeah. say, like six feet? Seven yeah, feet. easy, easy. Seven. Seven. Taller than myself. Yeah, I, I was six feet, or some of his head, I don't know, no, I could have been a shadow of tree, I don't know, but tall. But when I got closer, it just seemed to fade away. I don't know what it now, it was two years ago. She said, I, I was in bed, and at that time, I just got out of the hospital, I was asleep, and uh, Carol and I had a bit of listening to the breathing. She was panicking, afraid, about, afraid I wouldn't breathe or wake up, basically. I said to her, she was really upset, I said, just, just tell me, just tell me what's up. She says, I, I, thought, I thought you were dead. I said, why would you mean by that? He says, uh, do you? I said, I want to see it, Carol. I was asleep, obviously. Because she wasn't thinking straight at the time. She was so upset. I said, I was sat up in bed. I said, I thought, I, I thought you would stop breathing. And uh, there was something in the bedroom. Exactly making out what it was. All I could see were its eyes. It just, it like a yellow, yellow eyes. Then, then what? It says, well, it moved to your side of the bed. And uh, I thought, she thought it was my time, basically. Mm -hmm. oh. Scared the living daylights out of me, by the way. And, wow. uh, it says, I nudged you, all right? And you woke up. And when you woke up, it just went, boom, shot to my side and went. Wow. She said, it scared the living Jesus out of me. It really did. I've always felt uneasy in this house, but I will never see it to ruin. It's like a giant battery full of energy. It builds up, builds up, builds up, and builds up. And obviously, it releases this idea, but you have to find someone else also to, to release it. Mm -hmm. And if you are close to it, the, the, the vicinity, it's going to affect you. Yeah. Oh, a medium even more so. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming over. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sharing sure. everything with us. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you. Very much. Much. Just let me know, because I'll come around. I'm not too happy. I'm going to come actually. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. You get some people, uh, people who demand the information. Yeah. Yeah. Demand it. I need to tell them this. I want this. I want that. No, I'm not going to tell you that. I, I can't. I don't need. I don't need pressure. Yeah. If you want, want to know what's happened, just chill out, basically. Just relax, and I'll tell you. All right, yeah, fantastic. Thank, fantastic. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. I would love yeah, some water. Just get outside. Look, give the keys. Uh, Thank you, sir.
literally checking all my pockets. I almost passed out. I started to feel like real tight breathing. Like it was hard to breathe. 15 minutes into him being there. Yeah. Check your pockets. No, I've got my hands in my pockets all the time just just to make sure. No, huh? I I literally almost passed out. Like I was like this close to passing out. One, when I first talked to him, he's like, I don't do interviews. I've never done one ever. And I was like, cool, like no worries. And then he then says he's never been, hates coming in here at night. And then by the end of it offers to like sit down with us for a half hour. It's weird, right? Yeah. But I mean, who wouldn't want to sit down and have tea with us? <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> You okay? I saw a dog. What do you mean? I'm trying to calm down. What you saw? What Dude, you saw? I really was. I really was trying to not freak out. Dude, that. when um, that's so why I didn't hear the door move. But I thought I saw like something brown go like this. Me too. The Bro, I, by the doorway, right? I was yeah. just trying not to look. You okay? Dude, no, I saw some in there. What? And I did not want to freak that guy out. Why didn't you say anything? He turned around to me. He's like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Do you think Matt noticed when I put something in his pocket? You put something in his pocket? <laughs> what? And he just left. <laughs> You're serious. You didn't notice that? No. Oh, I got all of them. I got all three of them. I don't know if I want to go back home. Get, get us up of water, come on. Yeah, I would brave it. There was someone standing behind him. I thought I saw the same thing. It was thing. like seven, eight feet tall. Was it like, it was kind of blocking out where the glass case was yes. behind him, right? Yes, yes. I wasn't sure if I was making that up or not. Are you serious? I swear to God. I every now and then I could, see the, I could see the light of the reflection. And every now and then I was like, wait, what the is that? It was just a shadow, all mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. You didn't witness any of that. Witness. What? The whole time we were talking to him. What do you mean? Witness? There was someone standing behind him. And we all saw him. Every single one of us. How did you not? Well, I guess if you were right here at the door, you wouldn't have seen. Because it, it was in front of the glass cabinet. Yeah, I can't see that far. Dude. I'm here. There was someone yeah, or something that. standing behind him. Probably seven, eight feet tall. It was so dark behind him. We all we we all went outside and said it, and we all were like, "There's no way we all saw that." We Why all didn't saw you the say same it thing. While it was happening. I didn't want to freak him out. I, I wasn't for sure. Out. I was seeing I what I was seeing until he confirmed. I thought I was gonna pass out the entire time. The Maybe you should have told him that because now he's gonna come back in here at eleven thirty and doesn't know that. I mean, I, I can tell him at eleven thirty. Yeah, tell him before he comes. I in. almost passed out. Like I was this close to passing out. We walked outside. Corey almost cried. You said you saw someone standing behind him that he was clearly never aware of, although he said numerous times. Oh, he kept saying there were his hairs he, on the back of his neck. He felt the hairs on the back of his neck standing up. We have to let him know before he comes back in this house. 100%. You can describe it verbally. It was probably to right here. That's what I was seeing. Mm -hmm. Right behind him in front of All the glass. Black. It wasn't no just head. It, it, Almost like it was wearing something. What year did the family move in the house? What year? Yeah. Seventies? No. I don't. Name the four family members that lived in this house. I don't think I can. There was four. You can't name any of them. But there was two. I was gone. Are you, did did he tell us? What was the first thing that happened in this house that started the activity? Not the well. I have no idea. So that means you know absolutely nothing about the house but you know exactly what the figure looked like that has been told for the last 55 years. You just described it perfectly. I literally just read it while you guys were gone. Wait. I reread everything. I wanted to make sure I knew everything to like read it properly. Uh -huh. And what you just described is the poltergeist that haunts this house. Are you serious? To a T. Also, something poked around the f Word. Yes, you didn't and we see both it. saw it. We both saw it right when you went, door just moved. We both were like, wait, the timing was insane. So, like a brown thing just went. Yeah, but it was real it was quick. Brown. Like this. High. Yeah. Oh no my way. Are you serious? It wasn't up here. It was right here, right? Oh, I just got goosebumps. We all saw this. That doesn't happen. I don't think that's ever happened. You ready?
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, the whole house is got cameras in it, so we can kind of spread out if we want. Um, I don't think it's going to be possible to really go into rooms by ourselves and not hear each other. So yeah, it might make sense to stay together. I mean, if you think about it, like, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, the reason why I think it's a good idea, and now you're not going to think it's a good idea, is because Fred, the Bolter guys, is haunting an entire family. Here we are. Our own weird little dysfunctional family. Yeah, you're, you're definitely the mom. And yeah. That's the dad. Great. The mom had the worst encounters. Good. Yeah. Mm. If it's a shadow figure that you saw, mm -hmm. this one will work. He's going to be walking yeah. around. Okay. Yeah. I've been smiling because you know that I did something I probably shouldn't have done and it worked. Well, so I'm not sorry. That's what we're here for. What'd you do? So you can't get mad at me. What did you do? I did something he talked about and he was like, you probably shouldn't do that. And I was like, well, what if we did it? And then we did it. And now it's working. Well, what is it? What'd you it's do? Okay. It's fine. Let's all do a spirit box. What did you do? Let's just do a spirit box session down here. What did you do? And we'll all find out later. Oh, what'd you do? God. Nothing. It's fine. It worked, right? <laughs> Sometimes I have ideas. Have you ever seen me go off on my own and then hear me go, Evan, come up here? Probably because I'm going to do a thing. Right here now. Oh, do you have the spirit box on? The red one? Yeah, it's done. I feel like we should not have. Oh, so. Yeah. Did you hear that? That was Dan. No, it wasn't. That's not uh -oh. me. How do you think I run in here so quick? I have the spirit box, yeah. Yeah, I think we should turn off the flashlight, so. No like, flashlight game? Not yet, yeah. yeah. Right. We should just do like. Alright, that's cool. I think when we do like 10 devices at once, it tends to be a little hard to like figure out what's happening, you know? That's fun. Fred? Are you still in the corner? Although that is a name the family gave you, so you would seem less scary to them. So we truly don't know your name. Maybe we can figure that out tonight. Surely if you're standing in the corner, you're large enough to make that music box go off for a longer period of time. Everyone says that you're seven feet tall, wearing a large black cloak and jacket. I kind of want to roll the uh, audio recorder upstairs. Yeah. Like with no one up there. That would be good. Imagine if it heard footsteps or something. Or voices. Because the GoPro would, but... The, uh, the recorder would hear it so much more clearly. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn this off. Or do you want us to go ahead and start? Yeah, I'm not, right? Set it up right here. All right. Well, maybe it's taken us a year to do that. So the audio recorder literally just on its own. Yeah. So that's a good idea. Time for spirit box. Let's do it. Thing or anyone in this home, I am sure you are used to this device. It allows you to communicate with us whatever you might like to say. We've not come here to do anything that might upset you or anger you. We've only come here to witness your power 
and see your abilities ourselves. And what we don't know is what you call yourself. We only know what others call you. So if we could ask, what is your name? Would you like to talk to us tonight? Rimpod just went off. Really? Big one? Yep. And you the boss same time. Are you in this house? I heard one say, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Are you still standing in the corner? Is there evil energy in this home? Definitely. That's what I heard. Do you enjoy putting fear into people who visit the house? Terrified. I should. I should. Don't need to stand in the corner. Why don't you come in here and introduce yourself? What is that? Mm -hmm. Is no one else seeing that? Dude, a light keeps shining up at the top corner. How did no one just see that again? That's the second time. We're both sitting back. We can't really see it. Something's out of the It's like, uh, not got your attention. Where's your cat ball? We've opened up a seat for you. Why don't you leave the corner and come into this room? to scare people for fun. I have an idea that I think you'd hate. What? 
Do you want to get activity in the house? Yeah. Take the crosses down. No, man. No. no. I'm not disturbing a damn thing in here. No, we shouldn't do that. I'm not saying destroy them. I'm just saying take them down. What was that? It sounded like the drain. But what would it be draining? It sounded like a like a bubble yeah. coming up through a drain. Like the green goo. Mm -hmm. We should not take the crosses down. What if we took them off the wall and said you guys held them? You guys would be free. You do. I heard if you do, yeah. You like that idea? You didn't even set off the music box. Tools. Tools. Talk. Great. Cry. That's going off. Dude, did you hear this? I heard something cry. I heard cry. It said, tools, talk, great, cry. Tools, talk? Tools? House. Tools, talk. Tools, talk, great, cry, house. Who wants to lead? Go ahead, I'm behind you. I can't lead. I'm not okay. getting anybody on this thing. Lead! No f***ing way! It wants you to lead. Go ahead. I just said I can't lead and it said lead. Lead? Pick the bedroom. Lead. Let me I'm see. Just... Show it to camera. Where do you want us to go? Pick one of the rooms. Ghost. Ghost? Ghost? You're kidding. You're kidding. Is that ghost? You said yeah. ghost. Portal. Portal. Later. later. Portal later. I've never heard it say so many words. Ghost portal. Sense. Aura. Aura. Pete. On the well? Counter. Wait. It. Certain. Beware. Dude, what are these words? Trade, child, medium, heart, wonder, face, warrior. Trade, child, medium, heart, face, malice. malice. What room do you want us to go into? I don't think I can go up any higher, to be honest. If I would go first, will you come? Yeah. Alright. Demand. Demand. Picture. Picture. There's a picture of the wall to your left. It wants us to go in here. This also hasn't picked up any people either. Like it's not even picking up more. Oh, there we go, finally. Is this where you wanted me to go? Dan, you want to sit in a room with me? Yeah, okay. Which one, left or right? Um, this one. All right, let's go ahead. I don't see, I don't see anything. That's the point. Dude, I've never, oh I've never seen this thing talk so much. Can you tell us where we are right now? Ghost. Another ghost? Wait, where is Elton? Do you want to go find him? Where, where is Elton? I'm turning off the flashlight, bro. What? You can't. Oh, come on. No, don't turn off the flashlight. Let me know. I don't want to go to the back. Well, then someone lead. Let's see. Otherwise, we're both at the back. Do 
the same movie right here again last time. Door door. 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 I think it was earlier too. Open it up and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if he wasn't in there after that happened, I'd be like, we gotta go. go. I'd have gone home. This ovulus goes crazy on the stairs, like. Center. Center. Both. You just hear that? Um, however. Wow. I think it's just going on. It's going on. Bro, you should have heard what it said earlier. What is that? Trade child's medium heart portal later. Are those heat spots on the couch? Yeah. So we're we're saying it'll be res residual from when we go sat down. Yeah, but we haven't been down here in a little while. Yeah, we haven't been sitting on those couches in... Um, Pop, who's been sat on that couch? Ryan. When? Like when we were 30 down. minutes ago. Well, someone is, is uh, heating that up and I can still see the leg marks and it is hot. No one sat That's there. the device on the chair. I just put that there, but I never sat down. What is that? What is that? Just a camera. Right, well that's hot, and it's, it's not as, it's not, yeah, there's something on sat on the couch, bro. Well, let's see. Let's see if there's any residual energy on the couch. Or see if the temperature changes. Too scared and tall. Why is it going off so much right here? This has never happened. No, ever. It's like giving us a full chain of communication. No, it's going off, dog. Say, stand. Stand. Now, if Sophie comes and sits next to Evan, yeah, yeah, Sophie will sit next to Evan. I'll see it. You're welcome to go and sit next to him. Please. Please enjoy our company. Lasting. Coins. Clap. Day. Ever. Rose. It's never done Ashes. this. Ashes. It feels like it's just messing with us. And it's like, oh, you wanted me to talk. Here you go. Would you like it if we took down all the crosses? If you'd like us to take down the crosses, you're gonna have to let us know. Are you just messing with us? Are you just shouting out random words? It's literally right out there. Mm. Like, as soon as I put it to the wall, it spikes all the way through red. Are the souls of the Pritchards still here? Temperature is slowly going up. Is it? Yeah. Whoa. go all the way red. You make it go red, we'll take down the cross. Who's else? Children. Details. What? Devil. Forever. Whoa. Why did it say devil like that? What? Devil. Forever. I never heard it. Elemental. That's what he talked about, what he said he saw in the room. Why did it say devil like that? I have no idea. It like elongated it. Dog. Devil. 
I mean, it's programmed to speak one way and only one way. Play every word we've just heard, all of them. Devil is the only one it says like that. Devil, forever elemental. Those were the last three words. That's what he talked about. Nana. He said that the elemental, Nana, grandpa. He's a grandpa. Master, joke, sail. Is a grandfather. Ma. Who said that an elemental from the devil visited him and That's tried to put him to sleep forever. Apes. Temperature keeps going up. Just um, what's, what's in the far corner uh, towards the roof? Because I'm getting an almighty black spot, which is like a really cold spot in the far corner. On top of the mantle, yeah. there is an IR light. Oh, okay. Above that. Above that. I can see the IR light, that's all. Oh, nothing. Right, well, there's a super cold spot. Why did they say devil like that? Akasha. What does that mean? Akasha? A name? Should I Google it? Go ahead. He's manipulating us to have f him back tonight. No f way. What? A supposed universal etheric field in which a record of past events is imprinted. On the doll? The doll's original. They said that the doll and the blankets are one of the few original things in this house. Or would you like to play some games with us and make some objects move? We never did get marbles. They're laying around marbles. There was a bunch up in that uh, the bedrooms. There's a lot, there's some in the hallway too. All right, we're just gonna grab them, we'll be right back, okay? Okay. I can't see, I can't see anything with this thing. I'm gonna drop it. Do you know what I'm realizing? Watch this, can I show you something? It's like, it's... Finish. It's, dude, it's like, it's not in the air, it's like, it's, the objects. It's built into the foundation. That's what I'm saying. Anytime we put, like, these are original sheets, right? You ready? It's not saying anything? Constant. Psychic. Empath. Ida. Interrupt. Smell. If the energy is built into the fabric of the house, think about how easily it can move cupboards. It can exactly. open doors. It can make blankets fly. It can crack windows. That's why it can so easily move everything in the house because it is the house. It is the house. It's actually called the poltergeist house. And they may not have realized it, but it's actually but the, the energy house, of the house. The house itself. Like the house is the is the poltergeist. Farmers. After. They said that anytime they tried to exercise the house, they had no success. Holy water. No success. Entered. I mean, the plumbing would malfunction. Continued. The well of the house, the foundation of the house is faulty. They have plumbing issues, cabinetry issues. So normally, if an evil energy or a demon or something would take over someone, but this one took over a house. Like, the house is its body. I mean... Think about Annabelle. Think about the doll at McRaven, right? These are objects that are haunted. Why could it not do to something larger? And we always think about that. We think of haunted houses because of the spirits within it. No one ever thinks about it if it's actually the fabric of the house itself. Yeah. Anyone who's seen our videos over the last few years knows that the ovulus may be gives you two words a minute. Maybe. <laughs> it actually said maybe at the same time. Wow. <laughs> Everyone knows that. It doesn't matter what you put the obvious to, it doesn't just start spit firing. No, it, 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 it doesn't do this. 
Hmm. It's not you. It's actually not you or the antennas. Yeah. Okay. Well, we I heard it say a hundred words. Devil and... Devil in hell? As soon as you pulled it away from the wall, though, it said safe. What? It's the fabric of the home. Well, there's like a... Interesting, there's like a stain. Are you serious? On the floor, yeah. That's not in... Hold on. Oh yeah, look at that. Is there no stain? Where is the hot spot of the light? Right there. No way. Yeah, so see that pinkish purplish flower? Yeah. Yeah, there's like some sort of crud stain on it. Um, that's picking up an IR, but not it's not actually showing up to our eyes. That's interesting. So, well, that would be bodily fluids. I it, it could be a bunch of different things, um, but yeah, it almost looks like like burn marks of some sort. Like I don't know. I think my nose is bleeding. I think my nose just started bleeding. Yeah. That was weird. I'm messing with you. I'm not even playing like that was like. What the f I, I literally thought my nose just started bleeding. Actually, let's do this. Actually, I should have kept the uh, thing. Let's put it right. I just touched it. That is was where it is. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was way back there. Nope. Okay. Secret. Stars. Hang. Castle. Gale. Expect. Wild. Letter. Raised. Stuff. It's the wall. Screw. Here, let me try in here. Sharp. Let me try in here. Watch. Details. Ida. Saloran. Stretched. Most. Little. Paul. Always. Wish. Okay, so we put some marbles out. We heard you like playing with them. If you could roll one back to me, I'd be very impressed. We've got marbles on the floor, devices everywhere. We've heard you like to play with things, throw things. We're inviting you in. This is your invitation. Here. Is that the front door? Yeah. Someone here? Oh, it's uh, the Hello. one guy. The neighbor? Cross. Yeah. Should I open this? Okay. We can go get the door for him. Sun. He's walking Percent. away. Let's go get the door for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hey, sorry. <laughs> How you doing? Fine, fine. So earlier, Whenever you were telling us the stories, um, all three of us that were sitting on the couch, we all saw, and this was before you mentioned it to us, but 
once we came outside and we talked to each other, we all saw like a seven or eight foot all black figure standing behind you. It wasn't incredibly prominent, it was just so dark. <laughs> but like none of us were for sure that we were seeing it until we all came out here and said it individually. And we're like, wait, wait, you were seeing this as well. Yeah. And when, uh, when the door had moved just slightly, he and I had both seen a very small brown figure mass, I guess. Just kind of shoot. Yeah, it was strange that because many people have been also cattle uh, also mentioned uh, a child, a small child. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of people have seen a small child running around, or seen a figure on a, a, a silhouette on a wall and they disappeared. Oh, jeez. Um, that might have been what we saw peeking. Might have been it. So it's, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a equestrian a challenge, should I say. Yeah. And uh, so, so, so it's always different. Always, never, never dull moment. What were you guys going through upstairs? The devices would only work when you would place them next to Boys the wall. Boys, Alright, man. No, there's a black shadow. Over there. Are you kidding me? What the hell was that? I, I just got what was chills. That? What? No what way. It? What was it? There's no one else in there. What? Something walked past. No way. Was yeah. That on a video? I saw it. I saw it as clean as. <laughs> we don't have a camera there, so what happened? I'm, I may have gotten it on camera as I turned around, but I turned my head, and as I turned the camera around, literally a shadow was it. there, and then it crossed. Are you serious? Bro, yes. I saw it. Yeah. The well, I I heard the noise, so I so I turned around and looked, and then it was like a black, full black shadow just went straight past. Me sure, no one has anything in their pockets. From right to left. Yeah, put it Wait, you 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 he's put something in my shoe. Did you? Yeah. No way. Right now. Right now. <laughs> you just left for something in the house. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, say you're sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever it is, it's been circling. Where did you see the shadow? In, in that, in that the, room. Like it passed the door. Yeah. yeah. the light. Completely blackened out the light. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, this is fun. Alright, you guys can all leave and I'll pull across the off wall. I don't mind. Do it. Have you guys leave and I'll actually pull the crosses off the wall. No. We should not do that. Should I'm not. I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna put it back. I know, but even just, you know, seeing if there's a difference. Rampart literally has not gone off down here the entire time. We're all walking around it. Divided. Yeah, we are divided. It, if you want to. Cap, uh, you that was that was me. That was me. That was me. Hasn't gone off. Been sitting here this whole time. If you want to. Um. I'll call it a night though. Like yeah. for sure, for sure. Like probably won't come back in. Yeah, I don't want you to do Even after you put them back up, you know. Mm -hmm. if that's okay. I mean, everything you read about says so anytime they try to perform an exorcism, even, you know, holy water, it hates it. So maybe it'll like us if we do it. I think it's worth trying. Um. Everything we've heard is that you hate the fact that people try to perform an exorcism in the house, put crosses on the walls. So we want to see if we give you a little bit more permission to roam around. If you're willing to show us a sign. Stir up some more activity. Maybe they'll be willing to leave them down.
think that light died. And that light died. No. There's no so more. Long ago, I'm yeah. Making sure there's no others. No, there's no others. Fred, if you are here. We're willing to help you out if you're willing to give us a sign. The elemental is here. Would you mind doing us a favor? If you appreciated what we did, we would greatly appreciate if you could come down to the kitchen. All right, I'm going to put everything back. Unfortunately, everyone, our time at the Poltergeist house is actually being cut short tonight because it was booked out for a full year. We actually had to talk to someone who had the night tonight and was willing to actually cut their time short here. So the deal was we would leave at one and then they would come in from one into the morning. So yeah. unfortunately, they are now inside and they are actually sleeping here. Crazy part about it. No paranormal tools at all. Nothing. They just want to sleep in a haunted house. Yeah, yeah. that's it. They just want to sleep here. What is that point? It's category? still September yeah. right now. It's not even spooky season. They're just like, yeah, casual Tuesday night. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday night. What kind of rest are they getting? <laughs> There's no know. way. I, I, I would not do that. Everything that he said is that the more you focus on it, the more you want it to happen, the less likely it is. They're literally going in there, not expecting any devices to go off, nothing to happen. So they're probably going to get crazy. Imagine, yeah, imagine. Yeah. They're going to be levitating around the room. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they came back. You're like, yeah. They're like, you guys want to go fly again real quick? <laughs> mm -hmm. We have a lot to review. We had all the cameras rolling, the audio record recording the whole time. So yep. I don't actually know everything that we might have gotten. Maybe we got more than usual. I feel like every place we visit, though, we learn a little bit more. No matter, no matter what, how many times we've been to places and how mm -hmm. long we've done it for, mm -hmm. it's like every time we learn a new piece to the puzzle. Yeah. And the fact that maybe some places we go to aren't haunted by spirits, but it's the actual 
structure itself. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, it's it's the land. The it's foundation. the material. Yeah, the foundation. The ley lines and All right. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I know what it is, but we're not going to say what it is. Uh enjoy the next one. That's all. Get ready for it. See you guys next week.